Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Bits here, and today guys, the first Thor Love and Thunder set was revealed, which is set number 76208, the Goat Boat, which has 564 pieces, and will retail for $50 in the US, and I think it releases April 26th, or it's either the 26th or the 16th, I don't got it in front of me, but it's like the same day as the Jurassic World Dominion sets, uh, that are released, but, uh, yeah, and there's also gonna be one other Thor and Lo Love and Thunder set, which I don't know why they didn't reveal it with this, um, but... It's gonna be twenty dollars released in the same day and everything, but this set right here, like honestly, this this set's like feel like it's the set that you would only get like one for a movie, just because it's got like all the main characters and minifigures in it. Which the minifigures in the set are absolutely spectacular. You know, you got uh, the new Thor, which looks awesome. Uh, I do love that new build for Stormbreaker. It looks a little bit more accurate. Still wish we just got a mold for it though. Um, we get um the Mighty Thor or you know Lady Thor or whatever you want to call her. Uh, that is a very awesome minifigure. I uh, love the printing and everything. Um. Then you got King Valkyrie, which, very nice to get a new Valkyrie minifigure. I think that's a new hairpiece, if I'm not mistaken. A uh, new Korg minifigure without the Hawaiian shirt. So, this is kind of like Thor Ragnarok slash Love and Thunder Korg, um, which is pretty cool. And then we get Gore the Bo God Butcher, which, um, yeah, I didn't realize who that's who that was at first. I thought it was like Mummy's, Mummy Drax or whatnot. But, um, yeah, he's the only character without leg printing. I'm pretty sure, I don't think Korg's got leg printing, but... Still, though, like, the printing, the minifigures in the set are awesome, and even, like, I really like Gore or the Bo God Butcher minifigure. Like, I, uh, he could have used the leg printing, but it's kind of, eh, whatever. But the actual build itself, the goats, I feel like they work for what they are. Uh, they could have been better, don't get me wrong, um, but I feel like they're, they they work for, you know, like, what it is. And I love this build, though. The Viking boat just looks absolutely awesome. The building techniques and everything, this just looks like such a solid build for $50. I love, like, the little shields on the side. Love it. There's that little hut with like a map in it or something. Um, and apparently this is like a um, new Asgard uh, tour ship, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, I just love the shaping, the head at the front or whatnot. And it's kind of funny. We're getting this is the first Viking ship we gotten in at like 10, 15 years. And then we're also getting a creator expert one later or not Creator Eric's Creator 3 and 1 later this year, so that's kind of cool, but also I love the packaging. The packaging looks so cool, and it looks like the boat's going through the Bifrost on the front or whatnot, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what the other one is, because there's not even like a rumor or anything, because we knew this one was called the Goat Boat for like a week or so now, and we figured this would probably be a build just off that leaked poster or whatnot, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a trailer this week too, but I don't know, we'll just have to see, but like I said, I'm really excited to see the other one, but yeah, this is definitely a day one pickup for me, but anyway, Anyway, guys, let me guys think about the goat boat down below. Are you gonna be? Are you guys gonna be picking this up? Um, and check out my Twitter link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.